Watch you guys got another video on how to check what type of Windows product key do you have on your PC. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how we can check inside our settings panel here in system and in activation. And I'll tell you what key you have on your PC. If you've activated Windows and you just see activation state active, and then you drop down this and it tells you you have a digital license key, then I'm going to show you how you can tell what type of key it is because we have various different types of keys. We have OEM keys, we have retail keys, and we also have volume license keys. So let's take a look at how we can find out what type of key we have on this system. So the way we can do that is by opening up the command prompt and running a simple command to, to tell us what type of key we have. So I'm going to go to the start button here and we're going to type CMD and we're going to run this as administrator here. The uh, command prompt box will open up and we can type out this simple command right here. So we want to type SLMGR space forward slash DLI, just like so. Press enter and it will tell us what type of key we have. So you can see right here, it's telling us we have a key that is a professional edition and it's also a retail key. It tells us we're in the retail channel and it's licensed. So what is a retail key? Well, these keys are purchased separately and are more flexible and you can generally use these on multiple computers. That means that as long as you deactivate the license on your old computer before activating it on your new one, you can reuse the key over and over and over again. This means as long as you're only activating that key on one computer at any one time, you'll be able to continue to use that key on multiple computers as long as you deactivate it each time. So retail keys are useful in the sense of you can buy a key for your computer. Once that computer gets too old, you can deactivate that key and then buy a new computer and reuse your key on that new computer. So the key is reusable. One computer, one key. Multiple computers, as long as you only got it activated on one computer at one time, you can use that key forever. But retail keys are generally more expensive because when you purchase retail keys, you can still purchase these as a digital key, but normally they're more expensive because of the reuse capabilities of that key. Now we can also check the activation time for this particular key. So let's go ahead and type this command out here, slmgr.vbs space forward slash, and then we can type this bit on the end, which is XPR, push enter, and this will tell us how long we have activated on this key. And you can see this is a permanently activated key. Now with volume keys, it will be different and you will normally have a timer on these keys and then you would have to reactivate it or rearm that key. But on this case, we do have a professional edition and it's a permanently activated key until I uninstall or deactivate this key to use it on a new computer. So let's try another key and we'll try another system and I'll show you this one here. So let me just quickly do the same command, SLMGR space DLI, push enter. And once we push enter, you will see that in this case, we have a Enterprise S edition, and this is a volume underscore max channel, and it's licensed. What does that tell us? Well, that tells us that we have a volume key. Now, these volume keys are normally used by large organizations, businesses, or even educational institutions. Uh, they also allow for multiple activations, and that is what the uh, MAK stands for, multiple activation key, MAK for short. Now, volume licensing MAK keys are commonly used with volume licensing agreements, which allow organizations and businesses to buy software licenses from reputable sellers or even Microsoft and in bulk, and they can activate them across the network with loads of different types of computers. You may even have volume underscore uh, KMS client or something like that, which means it's KMS activated. There's all ty types of different variants of it, but volume keys are generally for companies. And if you've purchased one of these, or your computer is activated with a volume license, 
then you've more than likely used some dodgy script on the internet or you've purchased a key that is a volume license key, which means you don't actually physically own that license. It belongs to someone else and you've been missold that key and it means it belongs to another company and you've actually activated your product with someone else's key. Last but not least, we have OEM underscore DM or even OEM keys. The OEM DM uh, stands for digital media and the OEM stands for original equipment manufacturer. So these types of keys are normally pre-installed on new computers like HP, Dell, Lenovo and so on. And they're bought in bulk by these companies and then they are used to activate the version of Windows when you buy a new computer, it will already be activated with an OEM key. Now, when you reinstall Windows, normally because it's tied to that computer, it will normally activate straight away. You don't need to put the key in. It will normally just reactivate immediately. Sometimes these keys can be attached to your Microsoft account as well. You can always sign into your Microsoft account and check and see if your key is tied to that account. And these keys are pretty cheap and they're freely available all over the internet. Some people say they're not for resale, uh, but you can buy OEM keys pretty much everywhere. And they are normally your typical key that you would get on a Windows system, unless you are using some sort of LTSE IoT version and pretty much you are going to be using a volume key, which means that you're using some other company's key. So normally Windows Home and Windows Pro editions will come with normal retail keys or OEM keys. And then you've got enterprise level uh, operating systems and LTSE and IoT LTSE versions and servers. And these are normally all volume keys that you would normally purchase through Microsoft being a company or an organization. Let me know in the comments section down below what type of key is activated on your system. Probably going to be mostly OEM keys and I would say very few retail keys now many years ago retail keys were very popular you used to go into any uh, store like PC world or anything like that and purchase a Windows box which had a disk in it and a key and everything else and you would go back home and activate versions of Windows everything's gone digital now and you purchase everything online so buying the actual CD itself is pretty rare nowadays compared to back in the day where it's pretty common to have Windows discs. Everything is ISOs now. So if you've ever wondered what type of key you've got on your PC, that's how you can find out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on our Discord server. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.